Good morning, everyone. You may have noticed a change in scenery. Welcome to inside my writer's studio. This is where the magic happens. This is where I work on my books. This is where I come up with ideas for these videos. And this is where I read, as it also serves as my home library. What you don't see on the video is the vast collection of works lining the walls. I'm closing in on the thousand volume mark. I hope to get there one day and then it can technically be called a library. But anyway, the subject I wanted to cover this morning is longer than the one minute short format video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Inscribed at the entrance at the Temple of Apollo and Delphi is the maxim, Know Thyself, which was also echoed by Yeshua's forbidden teachings, of course, in the Gospel of Thomas, when he says, Know yourselves, then you will be known. So what does this mean? I believe that it means knowing who you are on both a conscious and subconscious level is the key to true happiness. Learning from others, your past mistakes, your hopes, and your desires will allow you to know who you truly are. Every meeting, every occurrence, every situation, or every thought you have is a chance to grow in the knowledge of who you truly are. The hard part is focusing on the positive ones while at the same time filtering out the negative ones as we grow both emotionally and spiritually. But with practice, we can learn to master the art of positive retrospection, allowing us to become who we truly wish to be. Now, I do understand that this is easier said than done, because every day our perception is further clouded by our own insecurities. I have them, you have them, everybody has them, as it is human nature. On the TV and all around us, we see others who appear to have it so much better as our lives are nothing more than monotonous routines of daily survival. Does this sound familiar? Wake up, go to work, come home, eat, go to sleep, wash, rinse, and repeat? Well, anyway, this has led to the window of our perception becoming more and more dirty. So how do we clean our metaphoric dirty window? Well, first, we need to stop focusing on the so-called haves. Turn off the TV. You know what shows I'm talking about. Instead, we need to focus on self-forgiveness, self-empowerment, and self-reflection. Now, I fully understand that sometimes this is difficult as everything around us seems ugly. But there is beauty to be found hidden between the columns of ugliness. Just slow down, take a deep breath, and focus on something as simple as a single blade of grass dancing upon a warm breeze. I know that sounds silly, but it works. Try it. Trust me. It is just by noticing these little things that our ears will open to the voice of the universe as the window to our souls begins to clean itself. You can be so much more than you are now. All you have to do is just start believing in yourself. And then there will be a positive future for you. Well, that was the thought I had today. If you like this video, you know how YouTube works. You can like and subscribe and all that noise. Also down below, if you truly want to help me, there are links to my books. You can pick them up at Barnes & Noble or Amazon. They are horror novels. I will say Lost Cannibal Manifesto and The Inferno Effect have much deeper meanings than just blood and gore. But anyway, how do I always end? I love you all. Talk to you again soon. Bye.